how close she was with Dr. Cleveland. I knew that he was her uh, mentor, um, but then they became best friends, you know, and in a roundabout way, he's largely responsible for some of the noises we heard yeah, yeah. via her music. Uh, and seeing as how he taught her how to play the piano and how to read music and all that good stuff. So um, there was a, a lot that I didn't know about the interior of their relationship outside of the optics. Well, sure, I think there was a moment where Aretha felt like she was a slave to the gift um, and not really um, allowing uh, the gift to lure her out of those dark spaces. Um, and sometimes uh, the gift can, be, can feel like a burden, um, but she very quickly realized, uh, which was a sort, a sort of a paradigm shift for her, I believe, that w it would be the one thing to sort of recenter her, refocus. Always got to, it comes back to the music, doesn't it? <laughs> it starts with one respective self, right? I mean, once you pull that together, it kind of doesn't matter how everything else feels and is around you. Um, and that will govern how people treat you and how, how you treat yourself.